Hello. So, um, I had said that I was going to do a What I've Melted video. I said I was going to do it before I went to Ohio for Christmas. That didn't happen. And then I, I was telling myself that I was going... Sorry. That's better. That I was going to do it um, on New Year's Day because I was going to be here all day. And here it is. Um... It's 9.30 at night on New Year's Day, and I still hadn't done it, so I was like, I need to do it now, otherwise I'm not going to do it. So, I'm here, it's New Year's Day, I'm at home, I've been downstairs in my room by myself, vegging out all day. I watched five, the first, the first five episodes of the current Walking Dead season, all in a row, without leaving my room at all. Like, I've been eating food in the microwave. I mean, it's just complete. I mean, I'm in pajamas. Cute owl pajamas. I don't know if you can see them. Um, yeah, so. <clears throat> I did brush my hair. That's the only thing I did. So, I'm in pajamas. I'm drinking my cran apple juice out of my cute Walmart Christmas cup. And I'm ready to talk about what I've melted. Um, I have a candle that I finished, a whole lot of clamshells, and then I have my cookie jar, who is full. He's full of stuff to talk about. So, we will just get started. As is customary, I'll start with the candle. Now, this is Strawberry Buttercream by Yankee. You have all seen me from start to finish with this candle from my first haul when I bought it last year at the SAS. And I've talked about it on numerous, numerous melt videos. It's been a love, hate, love, like, love, hate, love, hate kind of thing. I went back and forth. I would say that I ended on a love note. Because here's what happened. When I started melting him this weekend, he was about to hear. And I let him burn um, in my bathroom overnight. And it smelled amazing right up until, I mean, up until, to the very end, he's, it was smelling really amazing. The reason that I kind of love hated it in the beginning is because sometimes he didn't have a throw whatsoever, which is normal for a Yankee Candle. But on cold throw, he always smelled amazing, and this last half of, of him smelled amazing. So, I decided when I fin the day that I finished him and blew him out for the last time, I thought to myself, I'm like, is he a reperch or is he not? And I decided in that moment that he is a reperch. If I can find this scent again in the old wax, in the two-wick tumbler, then I will purchase him like at a at one of the SAS cells or whatever but overall like on average it was a light scent throw but the scent was amazing even right now it does not smell even right now when I smell it it doesn't have that much of a burned smell it just smells like a really sweet buttery creamy strawberry it's really really good okay so next I will do clamshells I I really did a lot of clamshells. Um, brownie pecan pie from Better Homes and Gardens. I did four cubes in like the last two weeks or something. I love this scent. I love this scent. Jose loves this scent. I just cannot get enough of it. It's like a brownie batter but with caramel and candied pecans all mixed into one. It is the most delicious scent. And it's really strong, too, with only using one, um, one cube. Uh, it's definitely a repurchase. If I can find it, I'm going to get another clamshell. Um, you know. Next, I did Glittering Bayberry Garland. I just did, um, like, one cube. I'm, uh, I don't really like this scent. I Actually, I didn't even do one cube. I did this little piece of a cube over here. This, it's a very strong uh, pine type of scent with something else, like a muskiness that makes it really kind of harsh on my nose. So I think I'm going to give this away. Give it away or throw it away. I'm not, it's not a repurchase and I'm not crazy about it. Um, I'm trying to finish Christmas Hearth 
by Cuddles Candles. I'm trying really hard. This is like, this clamshell is two years old. It's soy, as you can see. And it is still so strong. So strong. And I'm trying to use it up. I'm not throwing it away because I've never found a scent like this. It's like a sweet... <clears throat> It's definitely got like a hearthiness. You definitely get like a burned wood smell, but it's not overpowering. Like sometimes Marshmallow Fireside has an overpowering fireside note that I almost can't bear. This is kind of like pine with uh, fireside notes with some other stuff. I'm sorry I keep getting text, so it's going like across the top of my phone, so... But this is like a, a fireside that I can deal with. It's got so many other things mixed in. Pine, there's a sweetness, there's a freshness. So it's, it, I love that scent. And when I run out, I am going to get more from her. I did Sugar Sweet Gumdrop by Better Homes and Gardens. And I did, yeah, I just did a part of a, of a if you can see right there. Sorry about the glare. I just took a little cube out melted the cube, and then took the cube out of the tart warmer and put them back in. This is a very strong scent. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it smells exactly like a gumdrop scent, a gumdrop scent that Bath & Body Works had like two years ago when they haven't brought it back. But it smells exactly like that scent. If you, you, those of you who love, there was like, the year, the last year they had Marshmallow Peppermint or Peppermint Marshmallow by Bath & Body Works, they had this gumdrop scent. That was a really awesome year, and they didn't bring most of those scents back the next year. I don't know what Bath & Body Works were thinking, but... But yeah, it's so strong that I don't even need a whole cube, especially if I'm at work. So, um... And I've also, I've still got another... This is from last year, and I still have another full clamshell from last year, so... It's a repurchase, but, you know, i got to use up what I have before I purchase more. Spiced Apple Wreath by Better Homes and Gardens. This one is, again, one that I didn't do a whole cube. I just did a part of the cube. And this is a really sweet, it's a really sweet apple pine scent. Uh, heavy on the apple, um, heavier on the apple than the pine. And the apple is like a really sweet kind of Jolly Rancher kind of apple. It's it's a really good scent. And the scent that I've been loving, obsessed with all week is Creamy Spiced Eggnog. I have done half of a clamshell. Um, and I've been doing this alone. I've been mixing it with other things. Um, and I will put this aside so that I can tell you what I've mixed with it as I come to them. All right, so now we're moving on to, wait, I have one more clamshell, I think, one. No, I have more than one. Wow, I did a lot of clamshells this week. Okay, I just have two. So I finished Funnel Cake and Marshmallow by Heavenly Apothecary. I'm so sorry for the glare, it's the lighting. I finally finished this clamshell, which is good because you see how... You see how soft? It's almost like it's almost like cloth. It's so soft. Um, this oh god. In every video, every video where I talk about a clamshell from Heavenly Apothecary, I do that same thing. Like I expect it to smell differently. Hold on. I'm drinking cran cranberry juice because, you know, I'm having issues and that helps. Anyway. Um, even though it smells very plasticky right now when I smell it, I remember in my last melt video I talked about the pink peppermint cream and how and how the plastic uh, note seemed to be getting into the wax. With this one, it completely different, completely didn't. All the way to the very last time I melted it, um, it was just a really good sweet funnel cake scent. It was really creamy, really sweet, really yummy. It was an amazing scent. I love it. And for it being such a plain Jane scent, this is usually something I would end up mixing with things. And I think 90% of the time I just melted it on its own. That's how good it was. Okay. The other clamshell that I finished was Wildberry Cheesecake. 
I finished it. I think this only had like one cube in it. And one night I wasn't in the mood for bakery and I wasn't in the mood for pumpkin. So I threw something, something in. You all, if you've been watching me for a while, you know this is one of my favorite scents. So it's just a really, it's a good mixed berry scent. And it's got a creamy, creamy kind of custardy scent that is meant to be the cheesecake. It's just a really good scent. Okay, now on to tarts. Um, I did, I'm almost done with the chunk from Front Porch and Home for the Holidays Sweet Pine Noel. Um, it's only got a, it's one of the $5 chunks and I've only got a little bit left. I don't know what Home for the Holidays is supposed to be. I only get Sweet Pine Noel. Um, I ordered this, this was, I didn't haul this, this is from a, really recent order from Front Porch, which I didn't do a haul of that with um, my husband, but I ordered this chunk just because I'm extremely obsessed with Sweet Pine Noel. There was a scent from Bath & Body Works from two years ago, and I can't remember what it was, but that's exactly what Sweet Pine Noel, it, it smelled just like Sweet Pine Noel. Sweet Pine Noel is like a fresh balsam mixed with vanilla bean Noel. So that's obviously what, what Bath & Body Works makes to get that candle. That's what this is. It is a delicious, it, it was my favorite Christmas scent this year. It's just a yummy, sweet, bakery pine scent. That doesn't seem like it would be um, yummy, but it really is. So I loved that, and I've been melting the crap out of it this, this uh, week. Today I melted a circus concession by Rose Girls. Since I was doing it, I was doing it in a small tea light warmer. I cut it in half. And this, man, this was amazing. Amazing. Oh, it is like, I mean, it, it, it's, it's got the, it's got the characteristics of all of your typical circus Ferris wheel type scents, but it's different in its own way because, of course, it's Rose Girls. Um, and then when I melted it, it, it came, it, it was a little more different when melted than it is on cold throw. It was just really delicious. And I've decided that I'm not melting this chunk until I go to their store and hopefully they have a bag. The only way I'll melt this is if they, if they don't have them. If they don't have this scent in the store, then I, I'll go ahead and break down and melt it. But other than that, I'm going to hold on to this chunk until I go to their store. Oh, it was just so good. It's um, it's like a caramel apple, but, the caram but heavy on the caramel. Like a really sweet, gooey caramel. And then it's also got other things. I don't know what else is supposed to be blended in with it, but there's other stuff. I'm sure it's funnel cake and some, you know, other stuff. But it is amazing. Uh, amazing. Okay, I'm trying to finish my cupcake from Heavenly Apothecary and Sugar Cookie Dough Sugar Cookie Crunch. This was a big, beautiful cupcake, and it had donuts and uh, icing on it. I melted this egg. Again, this is something where um, it is not nearly as strong as it was when I first bought it. Um, I don't know if it's because it, it did have the whipped wax at the top. I don't know if it's that her whipped wax loses its um, scent rather quickly. I don't even know if I should continue reviewing her shit because, I mean, she's not open and she's not selling anything. So does it really matter whether I recommend her stuff or not? But anyway... Uh, once or two, I think once I melted it alone and it had a light scent throw, once I blended it with, uh, the eggnog, of course it was yummy with, that way. It's just a really sweet vanilla cookie scent. Nothing spectacular about it, but it was good. And today and a few other times this week, I've been melting White Christmas by Yankee as well, any of you that know me or pay attention to what I say, you know that this is one of my all-time favorite Christmas scents. And it's just a really mus musky, outdoorsy kind of scent, reminiscent of um, Jolly Snowman by Better Homes and Gardens. That's kind of what it reminds me of. But today I melted this alone, and then I added a 